What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about silver buffalo rounds, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive silver content. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we've got t-shirts and hoodies, a lot of which are being sold to raise funds and awareness for different charity organizations, as well as the brand new DYDSS Military Tee, which is raising funds and awareness for Military with PTSD, Inc., which is a nonprofit actively working to help improve the lives of our veterans. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But I want to talk about this very specific silver round or these very specific silver rounds in today's video I very 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 rarely do a video regarding silver rounds 99% of the time it's about coins and usually that 1% of the time it's about a larger denomination silver bar I don't really work with rounds all that much anymore but for those of you who do not know when I first got started stacking silver approximately a year and a half ago I wasn't into coins I wasn't into bars I would get nothing but rounds basic generic secondary market silver rounds and a vast majority of the time I would get random designs I didn't know what I was getting I would pick on at max jane bullion SD private metal wherever I would get the random ones because the premium was a little bit lower because they could be tarnished they could be pretty scratched up could be whatever condition maybe a little bit discolored maybe some toning or whatever and the premium was a little bit lower so sometimes I would get some silver buffaloes like what I have in front of me sometimes I would get a Santa Claus round sometimes I would get Bill of Rights sometimes I would get Hurricane RV relief fund rounds it would always be random it would always be sporadic and when I first got started stacking that's what I thought was fun not knowing what I was gonna get I enjoyed the surprise and a lot of the time I would get silver buffaloes like I have sitting out here in front of me and of all the rounds that I have acquired over the last approximately year and a half my favorite ones hands down without a doubt are the silver buffalo rounds and it's for a variety of different reasons number one the aesthetic of the round I like the way it looks I love animals I have rounds with snakes on them I have rounds with dogs on them I got a lot of rounds with a lot of different animals And I love animals, so that's one of the reasons I was drawn to the silver buffalo. And as you can see, they're slightly different. And when you flip them over, it has the profile of Native American on it. And I've always been a big fan of Native American designs and art and whatnot so that's another reason why I like the aesthetic of the round I like both sides other than the aesthetic I like its level of notoriety now like I said they're rounds they are not coins they are not government minted bullion they do not have face value but I would go as far to say that they could almost be considered coins in a way I mean obviously not exactly but due to the high level of notoriety I don't have the exact numbers or statistics in front of me but I'm willing to bet almost any amount of money that these are the world's planet Earth's most recognizable silver rounds out there everyone knows the silver buffalo countries all over the place all over the world know the silver buffalo
And that's probably my favorite thing about it. When it comes to generic rounds or even generic bars, I mean, it's just a generic piece of silver. And if you're going to be maybe, you know, whether you're converting your dollars into silver, you're getting silver from somebody, maybe not a coin shop, maybe not a reputable online precious metal dealer storefront. Maybe you're going to be getting something from the average Joe. Or maybe you're going to be selling to the average Joe. The level of trust might not be there if you don't have the credibility that a coin shop or Atmax or JM or any of those guys have. You might not know what you're getting. And as for the person you might be trying to sell to, they might not know what they're getting. I mean, just because it's silver in color doesn't mean it's not some piece of junk metal. Now, obviously, there's ways of testing it, but... When it comes to the buffalo, it's a round everybody's familiar with. It's not some random round that you've never seen before. I mean, a lot of the random designs that I've gotten over the last year and a half are rounds that I had never seen before. I would do a little bit of an unboxing and I'd be like, wow, never seen this. That's a pretty awesome round. Now, I do prefer coins now. When I first got started stacking, as I mentioned previously, I only stack rounds. I was stacking for weight. I was trying to get the most for my dollars. I've since moved on over to coins, more specifically American Eagles and Canadian Maple Leafs, which carry a slightly higher premium, but it's not too big of a difference. And to be honest with you, the coins that I just named are two of the lowest premium coins out there, so I'm not paying too much more of a premium. I just like the fact of having government-minted coins with face value. It's a little bit higher of a level of notoriety than this high level of notoriety round in front of me. To be honest with you, though, I do not know why the silver buffalo is not a coin. I do not know why it doesn't have face value, because the gold buffalo does, in fact, have face value. The gold buffalo is, in fact, a coin. The silver buffalo, in my opinion, from my perspective, should be a coin. But, for one reason or another, it's not. I wish it were. Maybe one day in the future. Probably not, but who knows. And I've always said, due to the fact that these are my favorite silver rounds, of all the gold coins out there, the gold buffalo would 100% be my favorite. And I would like the gold buffalo to be my very first one ounce gold coin. As many of you know, I stack gold as well as silver, but on a fractional level. And I want to know what your opinion is on the silver buffalo. Do you have a favorite silver round? Do you respect the silver buffalo more than other silver rounds? Do you think that this has the highest level of notoriety? Is this the most recognizable silver round out there? Or at the very least, is it in the top three, top five, maybe? Let me know in the comments section down below anything and everything related to silver buffaloes or silver rounds. Also, if you go out of your way to not stack rounds and only stick to coins, kind of like what I do now, let me know in the comments why you do that. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive silver content. Link in the description. And if you guys want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. We've got t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, including the brand new DYDSS military tee, available in four different colors, and it is being sold to help raise funds and awareness for... Military with PTSD, Inc., which is a nonprofit organization actively working to help improve the lives of our veterans. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, once again, 
What's your favorite silver round? Or do you typically try to stay away from rounds and you only stick to government minted coins? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, do you think the silver buffalo ever will be a coin? I mean, obviously not the older ones, but do you ever think that there's going to be a day where they become coins? I don't know, but I wouldn't be mad at it. Let me know in the comments section down below anything and everything related to silver, silver rounds, silver buffaloes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you just have smiling. Peace.